Hi, my name is Anfisa, this is Retina Coach, and today I will continue to talk about the settings and menu bar of the Constellation Retractomy system. If you still didn't watch the first part of the video, you can find it in our YouTube channel and in retinacoach.com website. In the second video discussing the constellation vitrectomy system, we will focus on the lower section of the menu bar. It should be noted that the general view of this panel and icons on it may differ from surgeon to surgeon based on their individual preferences and settings. In the first mode, core vitrectomy, you can see four sub-modes. The 3D sub-mode enables to establish a lower starting vacuum and a higher cutting rate. Once the foot pedal is depressed, the vacuum will gradually increase while the cutting rate decreases. This mode offers the flexibility to achieve various aspiration and cutting parameters without requiring any program modifications. Within this sub-mode, the surgeon has the ability to establish both the starting and end limits for the vacuum and cutting rate. The momentary sub-mode utilizes mostly vacuum, with a supplementary sidekick on the foot pedal that generates a momentary short-time cut. The vacuum in this sub-mode increases linearly up to the predetermined end limit as the foot pedal is depressed. Thus, the start and end levels here can be set. And cutting has only one level, which is set in advance, and is unchanged when activated. Proportional vacuum submode is probably the most popular one. It allows to maintain a fixed high cut rate while the vacuum changes linearly as the pedal is pushed down. In this submode, the vacuum has a start and end levels and continuous cutting has only one level which is set in advance. Wet and submode related to the anterior vitrectomy settings and I will not discuss it in this video. Before I proceed, I would like to draw your attention to one more thing. As you can observe from the monitor of the constellation system here, the maximum cut rate is 7500 cuts per minute. Important to mention that there are currently constellation vitrectomy machines available that can perform up to 20,000 cuts per minute. These newer vitrectomy systems incorporate a dual blade vitrector, which enables cutting of the vitreous both during the downstroke and upstroke. Moving on to the next thing in the lower section of our menu bar, we have the shave mode. This mode consists of the same sub-modes that were previously discussed for the core vitrectomy mode. As mentioned earlier, like any other settings, the shave mode can be customized based on the surgeon preferences. You can find the fundamental principles and key differences between core and shave vitrectomy settings in a separate video available in our channel. Next is the laser mode. Here everything is pretty straightforward, there is standby and ready buttons, there is a possibility to choose a treatment mode, such as a single shot, repeat or continuous. Also there are buttons that control laser parameters, such as power, duration, interval and the brightness of the aiming beam. Interesting that the laser mode can be combined with extrusion. There is a button on top saying vacuum, and when it's turned on and the extrusion line is connected, this gives a possibility to use extrusion in the laser mode. The next is viscous fluid control mode. There are two sub-modes in the viscous fluid control mode, one for injecting viscous fluid and another for extraction. Similar to the laser mode, there is a vacuum button located on the top, which can be turned on to utilize the extrusion cannula within the viscous fluid injection mode. This feature is particularly useful for performing a direct perfular carbon liquid to silicon oil exchange. Extrusion is the mode used for the aspiration of the fluid, for example by an active fluid needle, and at the same time this mode allows performing cutting with vitrectomy system powered scissors. The last mode is fragmentation. This mode is related to the fragmentum use and will be the topic of a separate video. More videos you can find on our YouTube channel and retinacoach.com website. Subscribe to stay updated and also comment down below if you find this video useful. Thank you for your attention.